Hello everyone, welcome back again. My name is Jesse and in this wonderful tutorial, we're trying to see how to build a very simple fun app with Streamlight. So Streamlight is not just for building data science app, but it can also be used to do some interesting and powerful cool stuff. So let's see a, another example of something cool we can build with Streamlight. So this is an emoji lookup, very, very interesting. So we ca I can search for some busy stuff. So I can search for normal emoji. I can do a reverse search in which I will paste in the emoji then to give me the test that I need to use in case I'm writing the code. I can also do emoji to Unicode, Unicode to emoji. I can combine, I can also search for the sentiment, right, for that particular emoji. Now let's check it out. So I just come back to the search option and let's paste in a simple one, right, let's say hat. If I enter in hat, it's going to search for us, found hat, so this is the hat. Then this is the test that I can use, right. I can also try another one, so let's try something like, let's say joy. If I go to joy, going to search for it joy and then give me the usage very very interesting so this is the normal search so i can just copy this particular stuff here right i'll copy this then do a reverse search for it so i come back to the reverse search i can reverse search it by typing in or pasting in the emoji then it's going to give me the particular test so this is it right very interesting so i can even copy this hat here copy this hat and then try that one then if I search it, it's going to bring it out perfectly for us, right? Very, very interesting. So that is something cool that you can do. So you can do a normal search and then a reverse search. Let's try another stuff you can also do. So you can also just search for emoji, which is I'll paste in the emoji. That's going to give me the particular stuff. So if I paste in this hat here, hopefully it is found. If it's not found, it's going to tell us that not found, right? But let's put in something like the joy. So I'll come back here and then let's use joy. We'll be updating the data, right? So if I go with joy, perfect. So I can just copy this joy here. If I want to get the Unicode for joy, I'll just come back to the emoji to Unicode. Then I'll paste it here. So I'll paste in the emoji. Then I'm going to search for that particular stuff for us. So this is the Unicode, right? And then the Unicode name face with tears of joy, right? Very, very interesting. So in case you are coding and you want to use the emoji, you want to use the Unicode, you can use this particular code. So if I copy this code here, then I can just do the reverse search for that, which is going to be the Unicode to emoji. So I can just paste it inside here. Then if I paste in this Unicode, it's going to search it and give us the result. Very, very interesting, right? So that is something very cool that we can do with this particular app. I can also come back to the other option of combining several emojis. So I can just combine them. This is just for fun. So I can set the limit of the number of emojis to select. So it can be five. I can just go up to maybe 10 or use this particular option. About 1,000, right? There are about 1,000 emojis I can select. So this, then I can just select them. So I can select, let's say 100. It's like just bring 100. I can also select another one. So let's say 100, coffee. And then I can just choose another one. Let's say Capricorn and then persist. Right, so these are the ones, so you can select as many as you wish. Then it's going to bring it out perfectly for us. Very, very cool, right? So that's something simple that we have built, that is to combine multiple emojis, then it's going to print it out for us. The last thing we can also do is I can also have an option of searching for the sentiment table, right? Which is credits to Onisidan, right? So for this particular data set, Omnidan rather, <laughs> for this particular data set. So it is just going to be the emoji and then their sentiment. So this can be used to do some interesting and cool stuff. So we'll be trying that one later on. So that's something very interesting, something very basic, right? So, so it's very simple. It's a very simple app. So thank you for watching and then see you in the next session on how to actually build this particular app. So thank you. And then in case you want to check for how to build your own custom CLI tools and as well as ML apps, you can just check the links below for some interesting materials to help you master machine learning and then building apps with streamlight and several other things. Thank you and see you in the session. Stay blessed.